William McRae. I know that all of you probably made up your minds to vote for this project, which is very unfortunate. But Mayor Keith James, may I remind you, elections are next year for you too. I would like to say that arguably two of the most beautiful cities in the world, Paris and Washington, D.C., have height limits. They've had them for in excess of hundreds of years. There's a reason. The politicians in Paris and in Washington, D.C. have not folded or yielded to the pressures for money or for building their city, and they're still two of the greatest cities on the planet. There's a reason for that. Because they're not building their views out because a Harvard-educated attorney wants to go, bow down to pressure from a businessman. They're not going to do it. And those are still two great cities with beautiful views that haven't been obstructed because of money, because you guys have not managed the city's coffers properly by blowing money and losing it. It's terrible, shameful. Minority hiring is a noble idea, but I don't believe we can put our faith in Mayme Kisner to make sure that African Americans, I'm going to speak specifically for my community, are going to be higher in the numbers and, in, and the quality that we deserve. 38% of this city is African American, 38%. We don't want, like Dr. King said, we don't want crumbs from the table. We want a fair share of the loaf for our community. And that means in the job types and the numbers, percentages of jobs. That's what we want and that's what we should get. And I don't believe she's going to be able to deliver. Palm Beach Gardens, they listened to their constituents when they didn't take the millions and millions of dollars that the ballpark was going to bring into their community because people were going to vote them out. And unfortunately, nobody ran against anybody here, so there would be pressure to do the right thing and listen to the people. Now, it is a beautiful building. I think it's a great building, but I'm for democracy, not hypocrisy. And the majority of these people here are here because they want their politicians to do what they feel, and that is not build that building. I'm for the people. I'm not for either way, but I'm for what the people want, and the people don't want this, the majority of these people, and they have million-dollar homes there as well. Um, the church is no longer for Jesus. They're for profit. Many people, if anybody believes in Jesus, these Christians, many people sold their souls to the devil, and they're going to hell if you believe in the Bible. So, oh, that's going to happen. they got to answer to God about that. You're going to stand in front of Jesus and account for why you gave away his church. You can believe that. The architect who was up here a little earlier, he was an architect. He was a... Uh, a lawyer, an attorney, and he was an astronomer. He says the shadow only goes to the north. He needs to go back to school and take some more astronomy lessons. Because he don't know what he's talking about. They need to do a shadow study and get back to you and get back to this community. But like I said, I know what you're going to vote for. Keith James only votes for. The mayor only goes for big business, rich people. That's what you guys are here for, and that's what you guys are going to do. Uh, just to remind you...